basically a chorus of uh, voices calling on you to devalue the Naira, to allow market forces to prevail. Are you prepared to reconsider? No. I have explained that countries that play around with their currencies are countries that have uh, uh, enormous production capacity. They have factories in place, their infrastructure in terms of power, communications, and security are virtually perfect. Nigeria virtually imports everything from rice to toothpick. Now, if we don't have the money uh, to import those things, what is the value of further developing our Naira? Well, you're going against the advice of the IMF. Uh, why not? The IMF is suggesting If it is against our national interest, why can't we go against our IMF advice? Another plank of your policy response to the economic situation is uh, a halting of imports. You, you've already alluded uh, to some of the vast array of, of imports that Nigeria uh, has been uh, uh, subscribing to. That's now being phased out. This has been criticised as well as starving out local entrepreneurs not being able to get the imported goods that they need to grow their businesses. They say that you're strangling the economy. Yes, that is the theory of it. Nigeria can only afford to live within its means. If we don't have the money, if you don't have the money uh, to back uh, the Naira, for people to uh, buy the dollars and import uh, toothpick, chocolate, uh, rice, uh, glamorous dresses. But what about more essential things like pharmaceutical glass bottles yes. that have to be made to a certain standard? What about steel cabling? Um, again, has to be made to a certain standard in order for it to be fit for purpose. We, in t we, ha we have pharmaceutical companies in Nigeria, once we open a time, we had a survey of them. We uh, do what is uh, we did what was called uh, institutional strengthening by giving them money to import machinery and essential raw materials. We have already given instruction uh, for the uh, uh, ministries to find out which industries need foreign exchange on quarterly basis to produce what is, what is essential like pharmaceutical uh, industry as you said uh, and other things but, but certainly not, not, not to import rice and so on. Going back to the, your policy on the freezing of the value of the Naira, you've opened up effectively a, a, a vast new area of corruption in terms of uh, the parallel market, the black market is so different. So many people who've been allocated uh, the foreign exchange, which is a narrow group of privileged and elites, are then often selling on that uh, currency on the black market and therefore making a huge amount of money. Another window of corruption has opened up. And this, of course, goes against one of the main tenets of your presidency. I agree with you, but we are going to check that. And we are going to apply sanctions for anybody that was given hard currency, or dollars, officially by the central bank, to go and import essential raw materials, for example, for pharmaceuticals. And then because he can make a hundred naira more by going to foreign market and selling it, we'll, we'll uh, pursue them and we'll punish them. What about the